Yeah, the sport of canoe slalom is, is great for that. Everyone gets very, on very well off the water, and uh, the battles are done on the water. So next on the course, it's Jan Sabador of Slovakia, European champion in 2007. So another top performer. Not really been on the radar in the last few years, but uh, making the final, but already in a little bit of trouble there. You can just see he tries to spin gate four, but just not quite getting the run of the boat through there. So apart from Eti and Dai, we, we haven't really seen anyone master the, uh, master the river yet. I guess you, you never can. You've got to really work with the stream, haven't you? Well, very much so. We've seen a few people on the button. We saw how uh, Fabian Dorfner of Germany was really on it, but again, it all slipped away at the bottom. Now through gate 11 and 12, Jan Sabidor of Slovakia, the Slovaks, surprising everyone in the Olympic qualification. No place in men's kayak uh, was qualified for Slovakia. That was a real surprise. A 50-second penalty there, though, picked up by Jan Sabidor on the upstream gate 13 not the whole head in on that gate and another surprise in this final and actually he's up on Etienne Dai's raw time but that 50 second penalty there's no way he can contest it now no, what could have been as you remember there are 25 gates to negotiate there are 19 downstream there are six upstream you clearly have to go between the gates the green and white are downstream and if you touch them as we just see there you actually get yourself a two second penalty and as Annie has said a second ago, if you don't manage to negotiate at all, if you miss it out for whatever reason, that's a 50-second penalty. Apart from that, the rules of this game are fairly straightforward. Yes, uh, and uh, it's, it's all about fast and clean. That's, that's the job, that's the one the athletes will uh, focus on. And there uh, you can see into seventh place, Jan Sabidor. We have one competitor still to go, and he's a fearsome competitor. This is Daniel, the showman, yes. Daniel Momenti, the showman. Remember, Peter Kauser of Slovenia, the reigning world champion, didn't qualify through to this final. He picked up a 50-second penalty. and That was very touch and go, wasn't it? Because we thought, uh, watching from here, because we're actually live on the, the end of the course, so we had a reasonably good view, it looked like it was touch and go whether he got his head through or not. Well, he certainly left the decision to the judges. That's, that's really how, as a coach, would view it.